folks, welcome to my great channel members. Uh, we are, this is actually our first and I don't know how many people we are going to get, but if you're here, please just say hi in the chat and let me know that you're here, say hi or something and I'll be able to come back to you. And if you have something, I mean, like I said, I think it's going to be real, uh, probably a small amount of folks today because this is sort of a test case. We've just started doing this to our, uh, to our members of the channel, those who've just became members of the channels. I think we started doing, uh, taking channel members about two weeks now. So uh, we, have, we have quite a few now and we put a little thing in the chat saying, hey, we're going to have a special, a special uh, session, special stream, live stream for those of you who are supporters. So if you are here, just give me a shout out. Anyhow, my big concern right now is that we are not playing the game to win as we should, in my humble opinion. Okay? Uh, right now, Donald Trump is in the hospital. He's got COVID-19. How did he get it? His irresponsibility. He went ahead and, you know, he likes to do his maskless rallies. He likes to go out there and be around the people but be away from the people. And he thought that by testing consistently he could do just fine. He thought by testing, he wouldn't have a problem. But what he doesn't realize is a test is an instantaneous thing, right? You test, and after that test, who knows what happens after that test? Well, he was one of the unlucky ones, and he got COVID-19. Here's the sad part about it. It is starting to emerge that Donald Trump actually knew that he was infected or likely to be infected, and still he went to fundraisers. He kept in close contact with others. I don't know how else one can explain that other than that person is a psychopath. And that's what I think Donald Trump is. Because irrespective, he went ahead, he knows that he's infected, and he still went ahead and gave the option to infect other people. Now, he's sick. He started out not doing too well. They take him to Walter Reed and to the hospital. He's at, in the hospital. And what happens? Uh, Joe Biden says, well, uh, you know, I am going to take off my negative ads. First of all, the Joe Biden negative ads are pretty darn placé. Joe Biden negative ads are not negative ads. They're truthful ads that, give, that tells us what is act the bad things that Donald Trump is doing. Why would we want to remove that? Do you think if, if things were reversed... Donald Trump would say, okay, let me take these down until he co co convalesces. No, he wouldn't. And how do we know that? We have evidence to that already. What happened? Remember when Hillary Clinton got uh, hurt? I did a video on that uh, yesterday where we show when Hillary Clinton fainted uh, because she had a, a, a short bout of pneumonia, he went on the stage and ridiculed her. He ridiculed her. Two, two major issues. Uh, for those of us uh, a little bit older, we had this certain respect for women. He shows none. And the second thing, we also had a respect for people getting ill. He doesn't. Now, Biden had, should never had, uh, have removed any of those advertisements. Why? Because, again, Donald Trump wouldn't have done them, and they're not negative ads. They're just ads telling the truth about how bad Donald Trump is. So it is concerning to me that we have allowed that to occur. And what I, I would have really liked to hear some of your opinions, would have really liked to hear what you guys thought about, uh, thought about what, what was going on, thought about whether he should, uh, he should uh, go ahead and remove it or not. What do you think? Uh, if you're here, give me a shout out and say, this is what I think should have been done. Anyhow, so one of the issues is, we, uh, those who want progressive wins, it is incumbent on them not to fall for the, I am bringing a, a knife to a gun, sh to a gun, uh, gun fight, which is what we constantly do. Here it is, uh, Joe Biden taking down his defenses. Do you really think Trump or any of his sycophants or any of the people that are working for him are going to change their attacks on Biden? I think not. So we shouldn't either. 
we should be very clear uh, that we're not being negative. We should be very clear that what we're doing is just pointing out the facts. And what are the facts? We, we point out the facts about Donald Trump. And I don't think we had a right, or, or well, we have a right, but I don't think Joe Biden should have ever, ever removed those advertising at all. I don't think he should have removed them. I think he should have kept them going. And that is how you win. Right now, uh, let's see, the stream current bit rate. Yeah, that is how you win. So uh, in the interim, in the interim, uh, unless anybody have questions, concerns, things that they want to say, I think I'll be closing out early given the, I don't think, you know, many of you don't want to talk. But again, I want to thank you all for being members of Politics Done Right, our YouTube channel. We definitely could not and cannot do this without your support. So we want to thank you very much. So let me say that clearly and concisely. This is our first live program, live stream, solely dedicated to our channel members. Those who have clicked on that join button to become channel members. We're probably going to do something like this once a week or every other week. We don't know, depending on uh, what people want. We'll probably do this to have a chat with you. Now, let me tell you what else is in store, however. Uh, the other things that we have in store with this channel is we will allow you to use Zoom concurrently. In other words, if you are on your computer and you're watching the video, uh, there will be a Zoom link that you can click and if, it's, if you want your video on, you can put your video on. And you as well, if you want to, will be transmitted throughout the channels as well. So there's a whole lot that we have planned for our members as far as giving them visibility, giving them, uh, allowing their, their voices and their, their faces to be aired throughout our space. So we really want to expand this platform for those of you who are taking care of the channel. The ones that will be uh, maintaining the viability of this channel. So uh, hang tight with me. As we get more members, what we will do is we'll start, we'll probably uh, go ahead and document exactly the best way to get in touch with us, the best way to use us, the best way to get on air. So again, I want to thank you so kindly for being channel members. We definitely could not have done this and we cannot do this without those of you who decided to become our channel sponsors. So with that, I think I am going to close out our first session. Thank you very much for being a part of Politics Done Right. Thank you so kindly for supporting the channel. And I'll continue to communicate with you in the co on the community pages of YouTube. Have a wonderful night. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join. <laughs>